The Weight of Unconfessed Sin Scripture Psalms 32, verses 3 to 6 When I kept silent, my bones became brittle from my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy on me, my strength was drained as in the summer's heat. Then I acknowledged my sin to you, and did not conceal my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let everyone who is faithful pray to you immediately. When great floodwaters come, they will not reach him. The psalmist reflects on the burden of unconfessed sin. He describes the physical and emotional toll it took on him, which led to heaviness, agony, and spiritual dryness. However, his confession and God's forgiveness led to full restoration. David acknowledged the turning point in his life when he confessed his sin to the Lord. He experienced forgiveness and found refuge in God. Proverbs 28.13 states that, Whoever conceals their sins will not prosper, but whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. One of the recurring testimonies when people give their lives to Christ is the peace, relief, and freedom they feel. Again and again, people use this metaphor. It's like a huge boulder has been rolled off my shoulders. The weight of our sin against a holy God is enormous. Nothing can take it away except genuine conviction, repentance, and confession. When we give God our sins, He gives us His forgiveness, peace, and joy, unspeakable. Do you have unconfessed sin in your life? Bring it to Christ now and come clean before Him. 1 John 1.9 states that if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive, cleanse, and restore us. Proclamation, I proclaim that God is faithful and just to forgive. Lord, I confess my sins and ask for your forgiveness and healing. All believers should confess their sins to God. Do it every time God uncovers sin in your life. Many are the sorrows and frustrations of those who don't come clean with God. But when you trust in the Lord for forgiveness, His wraparound love will surround you. So celebrate the goodness of God. He shows His loving kindness to His children. Amen.